Hello and welcome to Indie Cigar Review. Today I am reviewing the Olivia Siri G Turchill. This is a tightly wound Maduro wrapped cigar. A very pronounced cedar aroma on first light. Flavor wise it's a very minor cocoa. It's very light, very uh, almost hard to actually detect but if you try it's there. medium flavor mild on strength this cigar is normally between eight and ten dollars I got it for seven though you can find five packs online for five dollars for a five pack probably get one for maybe ten eleven dollars really easy so this cigar is very very cheap however it does not have a cheap cigar performance now as you can see it does not look like a Turchill in terms of how long it is well I had some problems with my equipment recorded the first and the second third and it just it didn't work so I am restarting this video that's what I experienced on the first light on the second the sweetness dropped off the chocolate dropped off and it became a very pronounced pepper still very good just a nice spice tobacco which I personally enjoy and then past that point, I've taken on a like a pepper cinnamon uh, aged tobacco taste, which is sounds like a kind of a weird combination, but it actually works out quite well. So I will come back to you at the halfway point or whenever a true transition occurs. This is the Olivia Serie G in Maduro. I shall speak to you shortly down to just under the halfway point or just over excuse me um, transition the cinnamon dropped off this uh, I guess pepper and aged tobacco dropped off it's just a nice uh, kind of a cedary flavor a little bland but still pretty enjoyable uh, flavors are still about a medium strength is now about a medium it has picked up a little bit but not very much at all. So far, enjoyable cigar, enjoyable stick, and I'm happy with the performance for the price. I shall come back to you at probably about the band point, and then once more at the nub with my final impressions, as well as my verdict and my sincere appreciation to a new subscriber. I shall speak to you all shortly. Alright, so, update for you. As you can see, I'm not at the band point or anywhere terribly close. However, the flavor profile has changed to a very pleasant, spiced, and smooth tobacco. Which isn't the most original flavor in the world. Most cigars have that, but I still personally enjoy it, and it is still a true transition, so it is noteworthy to update. So once again, I will come back to you at the band point or whenever a true transition occurs. Alright, down to the band point of the Olivia Serie G. Turchill in Maduro. Flavor, flavor profile wise, nothing really to update. The cinnamon's gotten a little bit stronger. Um, excuse me. The cinnamon has come back in, which is enjoyable. The smooth tobacco has died down a little bit. Flavor's about a. Mm, I'd say a high end of a medium. Not in terms of being good, but I mean just in terms of actual strength. Strength's about a, uh, about the same thing actually. Somewhat of a higher end of a medium. Definitely not full, but it has gotten more potent, so it should be noted. So far, pretty enjoyable cigar. Not my personal preference in terms of flavor, flavor profile and all that, but if it sounds good to you, more power to you. I will come back to you with one final update at the nub of this cigar. This has been the Olivia Siri G, and I shall speak to you shortly for one last time. Alright, so we are down to the nub of the uh, Olivia Siri G Maduro Turchill cigar. Overall, I'm quite impressed in terms of the construction. Burn maintained razor sharp almost the entire time. 
Um, I did have to make one touch up, but it was a very, very minor one. Um, Relights were fine. The draw would get sometimes very, very tight, but normally stay very loose and enjoyable. Almost perfect draw. Not quite there, but for the most part, it was close. Flavor wise, there's plenty of different transitions, just none of the ones I traditionally like. So if it sounds good to you, by all means pick it up. I'm sure you'll enjoy it a great deal. But for me personally, it just it's not really my preference. So on my end, I can't give it a tobacco inspired smile or infused smile. But either way, it is a good cigar. I do recommend you pick it up because if you do enjoy that flavor that flavor profile and the things I described, then you will enjoy it. No real complaints for it, just cigar smoking is all a personal preference, and my personal preference is something other than that. It's not saying it's a bad cigar or it's some problem with the manufacturer, or, I don't, I, or you shouldn't get it, just it's not what I personally desire. So, as always, thank you so much for your time. I sincerely hope you have a great day, morning, noon, or night, whatever you are doing. I hope you have a fantastic time in doing it. You know, I have a thank you for a new subscriber. So, give me one second while this loads up. As I had stated previously, my computer is quite old because my new one died on me. So, you must bear with me, unfortunately. Which is why the quality of the videos has dropped considerably. Thank you so much to Manjack2569. This subscriber has no videos up currently. However, your patronage is still sincerely appreciated. If you like the channel, go ahead and send me a message or a comment requesting a cigar. And if my cigar gets a tobacco inspired or infused smile, then I will be happy to send you out a five pack like I did for Alex a few days ago. Hopefully he gets his soon, and hopefully you will get yours, because I sincerely do enjoy just being a part of the community. So, thank you so much for your time, and I shall speak to you shortly, because this will not be the last time you see this mug.